what you're going to work on now is getting your racket path in the right place. At the moment, say the ball's there in front, you're coming from around behind the ball, and you're coming around out to the ball, and then back around this way again. So unless you time it right, that racket's not behind the ball until just before contact, and then it's gone. So what I want you to try and do is get that racket in the tape back positioned behind the ball, behind contact, and then go through forwards, through the contact point, continue, and then, then come round. That's right, so we're going to draw a line straight through contact where your racket's going to follow that line and we're going to keep that racket on that line behind the ball as long as possible. What's happening at the moment is you've got a curve which comes out to the ball and then back around. The way you can do that is with your take back, if you design the shape so it's a bit further away from you at the, at the, the rear here and then we can step forwards through the contact, get your body weight through the shot. That's going to make sure that that racket stays behind the ball for as long as possible and go through. That should get you hitting the sweet spot more often. Okay, a lot of it's going to come down to the preparation on the footwork. So imagine if I'm going to a ball out there and I'm just getting there on time, then my racket path is coming round to the ball and then through. If I can get there a little bit earlier and then get forward through the shot, change my direction, I'm getting my body weight through the shot, I'm keeping the racket path behind contact, I'm going to hit that sweet spot a little bit more often. Okay, so preparation on the footwork. Right, let's just try and let's just try and get you moving forwards on the shot first. So you're going to guide that ball. It's got to feel like you're trying to keep the ball on the strings for as long as possible. Keep the racket head speed. But keep that racket going in the direction that you want it to for a long, for longer. Who put that there? It only happens with you. Yeah, I, I feel like when you get your position into that close stance and you push through the shot it's a much longer contact point when you're in the open stance it's quite short unless we fall into it it's nice seeing you in that forehand arabesque position at the end where you've really pushed it a long way forwards you just like you look like you're holding on to that ball for much longer less chance of you framing the top of the racket which is what usually happens as you come through early and then it pulls away from the ball this way then you end up hitting the top of the frame now if you're a little bit late it's still going in the right position there that's good